Hey, what's going on everybody? In case you don't already know who I am, my name is Dan and I'm a real estate investor near Charlotte, North Carolina. And I share with you how I wholesale properties every day and I give you the tools and information needed so you can wholesale too. So let's jump right in. What is a ringless voicemail? And does it even work? A ringless voicemail, all it is, is just a voicemail that is sent to a telephone without ever making it ring. Super simple concept, nothing hard about that. Nothing extraordinary to understand how they do it. I have no clue. It just literally sends a voicemail to somebody's cell phone without ever calling it, which is awesome. It saves me a lot of time where I don't have to call them and leave the voicemail myself. And I can, you know, send it out to a couple hundred people without ever having to pick up the phone and dial. Now, how easy is it to send a ringless voicemail campaign? All you have to do is choose the provider of your choice, which I use Sly Broadcast and Call Loop. You upload a list to it, put the phone number that you want to use for people to call you back at, and then go ahead and schedule the campaign to the time and date that you want to send it out. Typically, I found a lot of success in sending them in early mornings around 9 a.m. and people typically respond back either around lunchtime or right after work at five o'clock. Makes it really easy. That way I'm not you know, trying to run and catch these phone calls throughout the day. They come in, you know, at different times of the day, makes it pretty easy to call them back. Now, who is ringless voicemail really geared towards? Like what type of person would want to use a ringless voicemail or even send a ringless voicemail? And there are so many different in industries that you can use it for. Obviously, we're using this for wholesaling. And what are the results of it? So when I send out ringless voicemails, the convenience for me is that I don't ever have to call these people and I can spend my time doing something else. For you, maybe you might still have a regular job and maybe you don't have time to cold call. You can literally send a couple hundred ringless voicemails without ever having to pick up a phone. And when people are calling you back throughout the day, you can just literally take the time to call them back when they leave a voicemail or just call your phone. That way you already know who to call back and who to contact back. That way you're not wasting time on trying to cold call, especially if your time is very limited. So it's a really good time saving tool that can generate a lot of leads for you in a small amount of time. The only thing is you definitely have to make sure that you have good cell phone data. Now, a lot of skip tracers out there, they do provide cell phone data. Sometimes they label it, sometimes they don't. I use realskiptrace.com. They label all of the cell phone numbers and landline numbers. That way you have a clear definition on who has a cell phone and who has a landline. That way you're not wasting your time trying to send the RVMs to a landline because unfortunately Unfortunately, one of the downsides to ringless voicemail is that you cannot send a ringless voicemail to a landline with a regular answering machine. I think if they have a VIOP service, you might be able to send some ringless voicemail to them, but I'm not really sure on that and I haven't really tracked it to be honest. So how many times do you have to send a ringless voicemail to somebody for them to actually respond to you? The numbers that I've seen for myself in any type of marketing is most people take more than one touch in order for them to respond to you. And what I mean by one touch, you can either send them them a ringless voicemail, a text message, cold call them, even sending them a piece of mail. Usually it's about three to six times before somebody actually responds to you. I've even sent people like I'm not even kidding. 13 ringless voicemails and they'll call me back on the 13th one to tell me to stop calling them. <laughs> but at the same time, I've also had people respond to my 10th ringless voicemail to tell me, hey, I am interested in selling. What can you do for me? So it goes both ways, whether somebody responds if they're not interested or they are interested. Now, what are the costs associated with ringless voicemails? Well, companies like Sly Broadcast, it really depends on selecting a plan or even prepaying for ringless voicemails. Typically, I buy them 5,000 at a time so they cost about four cents per ringless voicemail. If you buy them in smaller batches, uh, I think 500 to 1,000, they're usually about six cents per ringless voicemail, which is still not too bad considering the fact that you're gonna save a lot of money and time not having to call these people and you don't have to send any mail to them because you're directly attacking them on their cell phone. So the response rate is pretty good. Typically out of 100 successful ringless voicemails, I'll get about 10 to 15 phone calls back, which comes down to about a 10 to 15% response rate. Even though they might not call me back at that moment in time that I send the ringless voicemail out, usually people will call me back maybe a couple days later when they have some time available or even a month when they really are motivated and say hey you know what I think I need to sell this house before X Y and Z happens so what were the results of my ringless voicemail campaign I've been waiting all day to give you guys these results because I wanted to wait till at least five o'clock in order to show you guys how well this worked or how well it didn't work. So I sent out a total of 
118 ringless voicemails. They were at 9 o'clock in the morning today. I don't take the time to sort out which ones are landlines and which ones are cell phones. So I just mixed them all in there. That way I kind of get an idea because it'll give you a report at the end who had a landline, who had a cell phone, and whether the ringless voicemail was successful or not. So out of those 218 ringless voicemails, only 95 were successful. So it wasn't because they were not cell phones. It was only 95 successful RVMs because some of them, either the voicemail was full or they hadn't set up their voicemail account yet, or simply it was a landline. So a lot of them were failures, which is fine. I kind of expected it because this list, I've actually sent a lot of RVMs to it. I've sent a lot of text messages to it and I've also cold called it quite a bit. The results were, I, I think I've cold called it at least 10 times and I've sent at least 10 to 15 ringless voicemails to this specific group of people. So definitely I already targeted these people several, several times. I'm gonna try this again with a new list so I can show you the difference between an old list that's been attacked quite a few times versus a bunch of people who have never heard who I am and they have no idea why I'm calling or contacting them. I'm sure by now the people that have received the ringless voicemail today know exactly who I am because they've received text messaging, ringless voicemails, and phone calls from us. So I hope that sheds some light on ringless voicemails and whether they work or not. The total campaign cost today, I believe was $13. And my response for the ringless voicemails was only about two people call me back. One told me, stop calling me. The other guy didn't answer my phone call when I called them back. I know that they might seem like, man, that's a total waste of uh, time and money. But in the end, I've already targeted this list many, many times. So I wasn't really expecting anybody to call me back. So I hope you guys found this video informative and I hope you found the information informative. If you have any questions about ringless voicemail or you'd like to use some ringless voicemails definitely go ahead and click some of the links down in, in the description i have a link there for slide broadcast and for call loop as well as if you have any questions feel free to go ahead and leave any comments down below so take it easy everybody and i will see you on the next vlog